welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally the return of a lot of people's favorite series, or a lot of people's, I don't know, it seems that a lot of people like this series. Now, we did take a hiatus from this series simply because I, I literally, like once a week, I would take this box out. Like, if you guys are wondering how I do the thinking outside the boxes, I take this box out, and I look at it, and I look at the pieces, and I try to get inspired, and I just could not get inspired looking in the box, man. I went through it multiple times. It was even hard to make today's episode, so I'm going to do my best moving forward to try and come up with some stuff, but today I think we got some pretty interesting stuff, some pretty interesting things coming together, and uh, we'll find out what the hell it looks like, guys, but if you guys didn't know, this is the Thinking Outside the Box series, and this is the Thinking Outside the Box box. I have this random box full of WWE Elite and action figures that are kind of broken down. I mean, this Vega isn't broken down, but most of the figures in here are missing something, a head, an arm, some legs, and the goal of this series is to take something out of the box like so. Look into my fodder boxes. I have fodder boxes over here. There's one over there and there's one over here. And the goal is to look through those fodder boxes, find pieces that we can put together with these elites and put them fully back together, get them back up on the shelf or in my other box of random WWE elites to try and, you know, make this box empty. I remember when this box was kind of low. Now look at it. It's back to the top because I can't think of anything to freaking do with it. So hopefully today we can knock a few figures out, man, and get thinking outside the box going. But let's go ahead and dive in, guys, and see if we can come up with some stuff. All right, guys, so starting out first, I think one thing that I do want to do is I do want to use this Matt Hardy piece. I just feel like I definitely have a Matt Hardy head sculpt laying around. I know I have some V1 hands. Maybe we could put a shirt on here. I don't know what head we'll use. Maybe we'll use Woken Matt, Broken Matt, V1 Matt. I don't know. We'll, we'll look through our Matt Hardy options. We'll decide on it, but I think this is a good piece here. I mean, this is pretty much a standard full-size elite. We got to get him back up on the Matt Hardy shelf and see what we can come up with. So we'll, we'll take this Matt Hardy first. Next up, guys, another one that's really standing out to me for some reason is this Undertaker. Now, I don't think I have a Ministry Taker. I might have a Ministry Taker, but I think I have an extra Elite 79 head sculpt from the uh, from the Taker, from the from the Wreck and Slam cycle, and I think that head sculpt would look kind of interesting on this body. I kind of want to see what that would look like, so the Defining Moments Undertaker is super underrated. We'll take this piece, and we'll put it together with that Undertaker head sculpt, and we'll see what we can come up with, but I think that would look for, uh, I think that'd make for a pretty crazy look, so we'll, we'll see what that looks like. We'll see if we can get that together, and we will make full notice of that one. Another one that crossed my brain was this Triple H back here. I was thinking to myself, how cool would it be if we could take this and then put some like regular Triple H legs on it? I may have the, uh, you know, the longer hair like smiling head sculpt. I may have that one as well to put on here, but I think I have some bare Triple H legs with boots and all that would kind of be, again, for make for an interesting look with, uh, with the trunks. It'll not be the tights look, it'll be the trunks look. So it'll be kind of like a, a mixed match between old Triple H and, you know, more of a modern Triple H. Triple H. Well, not modern, but, you know, more memorable Triple H gear, you know, in the standard trunk. So we'll see what we can get with that going. All right, that makes three total figures. I, for some reason, I feel like I had a Shawn Michaels fix up in my skull, but uh, I don't see it right here. Let's see if we, okay, here it is. All right, I think we made this, actually, we made this on action figure, uh, or on thinking outside the box before, but you guys can see here that he doesn't even have his kick pads anymore, so I don't know. I feel like I want to switch out the head as well. I don't know. I, I definitely have some stuff to fix up the Shawn Michaels. I feel like I may have an extra Ultimate Edition head, which I think I slightly like more than this head sculpt. I don't know. We'll just play it by ear, man. Let's go ahead and, uh, I think, I mean, that's four figures right there. We'll see if we can rebuild all four of these guys, get them back up on the shelf. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our fodder boxes and find out what the hell we can put with these guys to make them work. All right, guys, moving over to our fodder boxes. Now, this is where we gotta get everything going, figure out what we got going on. All right, so the first thing that we need, we know we need, as far as lower parts, this is, okay, so if you guys did not know, I'm thinking about making a video on this on how I organize my parts, how I organize like accessories and stuff like that. If that's a video you guys would be interested in, please let me know down in the comment section below. But right here, we do have all of my lower body accessories. Not every single thing, but you know, mainly you got knee pads, you got crotches, you got boots, you got all the kick pads, you got everything. Now, the first thing that I've noticed immediately is these random HBK kick pads right here. So I know what I'm putting on that random HBK Elite we got. So I will put these onto our white HBK. And then uh, we also need a head sculpt for that guy. I'm trying to, th I don't think we need anything else from this, from this box, but again, man, you could do so many crazy things, like here's some Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition boots right there. I mean, I, I'm just saying, the, the possibilities are endless. I would love to do some more stuff on here. Maybe this episode could be used as that motivation I need to get the, uh, you know, those creative superstar wrestlers going, because I know you guys enjoy the creative wrestler superstars, and maybe we can get that going, but let's move on to our next fodder box. Uh, let's just move this one out of the way for a second. We'll slide the other 
one in here. Now, next up, I know we need head sculpts, right? Like, that's something that we know we need a lot of. Let's go ahead and move this horizontal. I don't want the old verticality going right there. All right, you guys can click. Look at that right there. Perfect Ultimate Edition head sculpt right there for the Shawn Michaels. This is the head sculpt that I want to put on there. I know we have a head sculpt on there, but I don't like it. I kind of want to make something that I like, you know, not just something that I'm forced to enjoy. So I'm going to use this one right here. We'll put that together. The Shawn Michaels is pretty much done. I wish I had some extra HBK Elite. You know, it's the WrestleMania 33 Elite from WrestleMania 12. I wish I had more arms like that. I don't think I do. I want to do a real quick check real quick. I think I only have WrestleMania 14 Michaels arms. Yeah, Brad, unfortunately, I don't think I have any. So we're just going to have to move the hell on here. All right, next up, we do need our Undertaker head sculpt. And that is right there. So this is the other head sculpt that I was thinking, man. I think this one right here is going to look fantastic on that body. We'll see. You know, it could end up looking ugly AF, but we won't know until we try it. So Undertaker and HBK are done. We only need Matt Hardy and Triple H. Now for Matt Hardy, I could just put the OG head sculpt on here, which would be one of these. But I also have, oh my god, I have another one of these. Like, look at that, dude. I have like so many V1 Matt Hardy head sculpts. So it could be one of these. I could use the broken Matt Hardy head sculpt, which I actually like. I kind of want to try that one. Uh, what else we got? I think we have that other one as well. Where is it? Like the, I don't think I like this one. Yeah, this one right here. I, I feel like we could use this one, but I don't think I like this one. I think I like this one or just make him back to the way it was. Let me check my shelf real quick and let me decide. All right, guys, I came to the realization that I already have one with the regular head sculpt on there, so I think I'm going to go with the broken matte head sculpt, you know? I think uh, I think this one would look pretty damn good on there, so I'm going to roll with this one. It's not the true effects version, but you know, what are you going to do? You got to build a bridge sometimes and get over it. Now, I also have these interchangeable Matt Hardy hands to go in there, so uh, that will be perfect. You got the V1 hand over there, and then you got this one. It's already got the V on the wrist tape, so it's not going to really bother me that the broken matte head doesn't really match up with the V1. doesn't really bother me that much. You can always switch it out for regular white hands, but I'm going to roll with these for now. And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta put our legs onto this Triple H. Now, this is the head sculpt that I was gonna go with. Where's it at? I was gonna switch it out for this head sculpt, but I don't know if I wanna do that. I also thought about switching the arms out for, like, regular Triple H arms with the wrist tape and stuff, but I don't know. Anyways, the legs are right here. There they are right there. This is the legs right here. It's got the Triple H boots. Plug these on right there, and it's gonna look, you know, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be like a flashback slash classics Triple H, but, uh, you know, with all, with, all, with all the good stuff going on. So let's just shut the hell up, get into the surgery area, and see if we can get all this stuff done. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where we get the surgery going. Now, I think, you know, we always try on the thinking outside the box. We try to do it on surgery sometimes, too, but for the main part of thinking outside the box, we always try to get everything in one go. Now, today, I think that possibility is really strong because we don't have anything crazy, like, over the top, you know, trying to switch out stuff. Now, we don't have to heat this up. We don't have to heat this up. We don't have to heat this up. We do have to heat up everything else, though, except these hands. Get these hands out of here. All right, we don't have to heat up the Ultimate Edition head sculpt because it pops on automatically. Um, I'm not going to pop on this Triple H head sculpt. You guys can let me know if I should switch this one on to that Triple H at the end. You know, you guys can give me a little option there. But uh, we do have to heat up everything else. So we got to heat up this Sean head sculpt. Let's go ahead and tilt it up. We got the trusty white hair dryer in the house as always. Got the Matt Hardy head. Got the ball joint Triple H leg. Got the other ball joint Triple H leg. Got the Undertaker head sculpt there. And then we have the HBK boots. Now again, I think this is going to be a really good episode to, to, to just get me back on track, man. Get the creative juices flowing and hopefully that all works out, man. But let's go ahead and hit the trusty white hair dryer. Maybe, just maybe we can get everything in one go. I don't think we're going to run into any trouble, but you know, that's when you don't think there's trouble, Brad, that's when you run into it. So you got to be ready to go. I need to slide this just a tad here because I got to get that HBK head heated up. That's the main issue. Son of a bitch. All right, come on now. Do not forsake me. All right, guys, hopefully that is good enough. Let's go ahead and just start from the top and see if we can just... Oh, God, that ish is hot, bro. Maybe we'll have a new episode of Surgery this week. We'll have to see about that. But there goes the Triple H. I'm actually kind of, I got a little something special going on there, young man. All right, next up, guys, I'm going to get into the HBK head just in case. You know, you don't want to run into any football trouble there. One kick pad. Oh, Lord, heaven and God. Thank you for your wonderful blessings. Let's pop on there. Okay, okay. Next up, we got the Matt Hardy head sculpt. Really small peg hole in this guy. Ooh, got that. 
Undertaker head, don't know how this is gonna go. Could look awful, let's see. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, uh, no HBK there. Gotta plop the hands in here to the Matt Hardy. Oh, God! That sound horrific. Jesus, that just sounded so terrible. All right. Ugh. And then the Ultimate Edition HBK head. Ugh. All right, let's take a look at everything. All right, guys, so here's everything we did today on Thinking Outside the Box. Now, the one thing I will say is look at that freaking Undertaker. It actually, it's not that bad. Oh, God. Okay, he just does... I don't know if he has a neck. I feel like the neck is just not there, and I don't know. I think this is supposed to be kind of high up, but Jesus. Yeah, I don't I don't think you have something special going on there, young man. You got a little something wrong going on there, old man. The rest of them, though, look pretty all right. I'd say the best is probably Hardy and HBK. The Triple H isn't bad. I kind of like that the, uh, you know, that we're getting black pegs under there. I kind of like the way that looks. But outside of that, I feel like maybe... I don't know. I kind of like this, though. It's kind of a different look, you know? And you might get even, if you switch out the arms and the head sculpt, it might for, make for a cool formula for a younger Triple H, you know? Especially if you, like, painted up the trunks to a certain design or something from, like, 1999 or something like that. You may be able to do something cool with that. Or it could be the basis for another guy. Like, it gives you perfect templates for lines. Like, if you wanted to make different designs on these trunks. But the HBK looks good. I like this Ultimate Edition head much more than the smiling one. But it still doesn't look like Shawn Michaels all that much. The likeness isn't entirely there. And then this Matt Hardy is what it is. I mean, it's the V1 with the broken head skull, but I think it looks pretty damn solid. And this shout-out is going to go to Sean3114, who says, Where's the damn thinking outside the box, Brad? It's my second favorite series behind the pick fed. Well, Brad, here it is. You got it. It's right here in front of you. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, I think uh, maybe we can get some more of these going, and maybe I can dive into the box there, do some creative things, and flip stuff around, and hopefully that will be the case once we get everything going. But shout-out to Sean for that comment, because uh, here it is. Brad, I actually got it to you, so hopefully you enjoyed that, but that pretty much does it for our thinking outside the box, man. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and, uh, roll the footage. Don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been beaten.